Adapters, they're adaptable. I wanna show you how to make your own DIY adapter as an example, but first, there are two main kinds, electronic and mechanical. Electronic adapters take, for example, current and change it, adapt it from one to another. A really common one you see are these, where you take a standard wall current and convert it into USB power. Those are electronic and they come in a variety of shapes, forms, and, and uses. Now, mechanical adapters are equally diverse. A really common example here are four socket wrenches. Three different size standard socket wrenches. There are adapters so you can use any of these three size sockets on any of these three size wrenches. There are mechanical adapters for so many things out there. What I wanted to show you today is a very simple way to adapt some mechanical devices so that you can use them in unconventional ways. This is my drill press setup. And as you see, I have a bit of an addition here. This is a bench grinder. I need a space for it. Tiny shop, always coming up with novel ways to do things. I think mounting it below my drill press will be a really nice compromise uh, to utilize some space that's not really used. If I do this right, I can make it so that this easily comes off. Here's the rub. These things don't fit. While this has mounting holes on the bottom here, and this has slots in it, they don't line up. I measured them, these are about four and a half inches apart, and these are five and three eighths inches apart. The easiest way, and the best way to do it is, you guessed it. With a little bit of help from an adapter kit. Okay, I already made my adapter plate. Here it is. It's really straightforward. I use this, it's about a half inch thick piece of high density polyethylene. It's a particularly durable formulation of that, and it's completely suitable for this application. You could readily use a piece of wood, or if you were so inclined and equipped, you could make this out of steel. I measured out the base of this, cut this thing out on my table saw, and then I measured the distances I needed and drilled them out with a quarter inch drill bit. The bolts that will hold the grinder have to be flush. And to do that, I just took a Forstner bit, 3 8 and drilled in some recesses. I assembled the needed hardware using my favorite quarter 20 bolts. Here's how it gets assembled. quarter 20 wing nuts and it comes off just as easy. Adapting. Hope you find ways to adapt in your shop. Let me know if you do in the comments and thanks for watching.